What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Poe Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryhorn Trainer Steven. I'm Poke Scientist Sean. And as you can tell, I'm on this side of the seat today. So again, you have cooked up something special. What you and, got for us today? Well, this is a fun deck that I have found. I have been trying to build since it, the this Bissimian pretty much hit the field, and found out it made a day two in a recent regionals. Wait, Bissimian made day two? Yeah. Oh, okay. Top, top 32. All right. So without further ado, we'll just jump right into the deck and see see how it how it works. So here's here's a deck I've been trying to work since it, well, the Power Huddle Passimian came out very recently. It does 30 more damage for each Passimian to your active Passimian's attacks. That is really, really good. That's 90 damage with all three? Yeah, that's plus 90 to, to all evolutions. evolutions. Yeah. yeah. So, and we start with, well, team play. This is, is, of course, the clutch of the deck that if it's prized, you're going to be struggling. However, yeah. team play is uh, thir 10 damage plus 30 more for each bench Passimian. Wait, 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 wait. So that's three, six, nine, nine, nine. That's 190 damage. For a for DCE. It. Damn straight. <laughs> Darn straight. <laughs> that, uh I can now see why this took day two. Because that is an absolute monster. Yeah, well, on the on the revenge kill, Pacimas are usually knocked out fairly easily. Because at 110, and the average GX is hitting 120. Roughly, yeah. So, we have some options like uh, Toxicroak. A fighting poke was knocked out during the last turn. You now swing for, with the exact revenge. You swing 50 plus 70 more. That's 120. That That's and still at least a good gives knockout. You second coverage. Yeah, so that's at least a knockout to, to something that knocked out a Bissimian if you did just enough damage yeah, to the, it. Yeah, yeah, psychic weakness is a big plus right now with that buzzwall hanging around. Oh, lot, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, baby Mew because I can use team play as well and have psychic coverage. Oh, yeah, because it, it uses the attacks of all your basics in play, so that gives you... That actually hits even harder because it gives you four Passimian on your bench for the team play. And it gives you access to uh, Psychic Weakness. That is awesome. That's and amazing. If anything else, you can always lead with it to have bring out Passimians. Yeah, that that is really, really good. I kind of like this one over the EX a little bit, mainly for that reason. And because it's rare that you're going to use a DC attack on your opponent's stuff. Maybe Zorark, but... I'm already one-shotting Zorark, so that's not a problem. Yeah, you're... And Zorark's resistant to Mew, so I'm not going to try to use Mew on his Zorark. Exactly. So how do we get this to work? Well, well, what are the other two? Oh, Zekrom? Zekrom and Retrograde are there mainly for coverage, because metal is a big thing, and Zekrom, Electric is not a big thing right now to for weakness to counter, but it's still there for ma melee and Polion. Okay. But as you know, that this deck centered is around that team play, and while well, you're running one, if it's prized, well, Glad Gladian helps you get it out. Yeah, that is really, really, really nice. And Nest Ball, because you're only running basic Pokemon for the most part. Although, why only two? Because I know a lot of our lists, we do at least three or more. Well, because they're so fast getting out, and uh, well, I forgot to put in Brooklyn Hill, but. I found that Brooklyn Hill doesn't really need to be in here. And I run Floor Ultra Ball because I can have access to Passimians. I can have access to Toxicroak. And I have access to get rid of access cards like Fan Club that I already have a full bench. Don't yeah. need any more. So I have Rescue Stretcher, three of them, because yeah, team play Passimians, the heart, pretty much the heart of the deck. If it's uh, knocked out, you need it back as soon as possible. Exactly. Have a next turn. Have a the same turn or next turn. Mm-hmm. Got yeah, switch because I just like having two switch. Period. Yeah, especially with a Rangaroo floating around. Guzma and... for targets. Yep. And wonderful Cynthia, and I'm gonna showcase the one you guys helped us get. Which again, thank you guys so much. 
And um, at time, everyone asked Roller just to pick up a Pesadia and put it back down. Continue. Yeah, that would. That's a really good. And I got free retreater, so it helps with moving, moving, keep, keep the momentum up. I run three Alima because I like to, sometimes I like Alima over end because it helps if your opponent is to suck at coin flips or, or just have bad luck. Three cards is a devastating er, t first turn. Yeah, plus with N rotating out, what, in September, it gives uh, it gives the option, or it, pr it still leaves that whole disrupt your opponent option, yes. and maybe even disrupt them more with a tail. from 10 tails. to 3 cards or whatever, that's a big setback. That is a really big setback. Ninja Boy, because, well, it's a one-up, and in case you have, have it in your hand, and you are seeing a Magna Zone, you want to one-shot it, or... Can switch to the uh, Zekrom, okay. And basically get get Zekrom or Reshiram because I know a lot of metal types are weak to both of these. So yeah. Um, fan club for the same reason for Nest Ball. Kukui for damage output. I believe I run three. Yeah, I run three. One Sycamore because well, Sycamore is Sycamore, and sometimes hit. <laughs> sometimes you just need to get rid of the junk for power. Yes. Uh, res a skateboard because most of your pursuers have one retreat cost, and I don't want to have a, the ability to unlock in the active. Right. Talk trucks, the only two, well, that and the rest of your rams are, Zekroms are the high retreats, but that's what Guzma's for. Yeah, exactly. And then you run three choice band just so you can do more damage against the E axes yeah, and G axes. That, Kukui, I'm hitting 240. Yeah, that's yes. that's still really really good. And that's not including the strong energy. That's two sixty, which is more than two fifty. Which I'm one shotting per anything, and all Pokemon unassisted hit points. Yeah, that is that is just a beast. And then DC because your main attack is team play, so you want to be able to attack the same turn as you. Plus, as soon as possible. Actually, almost everything is because you got the team play, which takes DCE. You have both outrages on the Zekrom and uh, Zekrom and Reshiram, which both take DCE, and then you have the the Toxicroak, which yeah. takes DCE. So and it's just, just give you an idea about outrage. Let's so say they missed the knockout off of Pissimian. That's 100 damage. Uh, plus 20. That's 240. Well, it's, it's 10 more for on each damage on that. So you have the 100 plus 20, that's 100. Well, no, it's it's only to each damage counter on that Pokemon. On this Pokemon, yeah. Yeah. So they say they missed the knockout on Passimian, but you have a Reshiram and Ninja Boy in hand. Or oh, Ninja okay, Boy that's, hand. that's... You swap right to it. Yeah, that's 120. That's 240 damage output. And so anything is weak to fire, and yeah. And Kukui, you're one-shotting. So yeah, it's, it's mainly for that one shot counter. And of course, five fighting because your main attacker's fighting, and really you could probably run psychic heavy. I make it so where this one could attack if, if it has just to. in case if yeah. it has to, and Mew could attack if it has to. But even then, it's colorless, so so we're and, all looking and, good there. And Mew can attack with this attack; it attack for, for no resistance. So yeah, that is. And three psychic, so I can use the poison attack off of. Toxic or if whenever needed, necessary. Yeah. Well, there's a deck. All right, want to play it? Let's play it. Let's jump right into a match and see what we get. Uh, Monkey and his pet. I believe I believe we gave the full title of a uh, monkey and his uh, and his pet frog. Yes. Because it's, it's essentially just a Pissimian list, but with uh with the Toxic Croak tag. Just for that, for just for the revenge kills. Yeah, coming down the line, I, well, we could probably talk about that at the end. But I like the Diancy Prism for this deck. Yes, coming down the pipeline, that is definitely going like to be a good one. I like the fighting Toxic Croak, so you, in case your your Muse knocked out, you have access to a one, one twenty base attack. Plus, with the uh, with strong energy and all the fighting support, that actually wouldn't be a bad. At least a uh, a one of each, just to hit type type coverage. Oh well, okay, look at that. That is, that's actually pretty good. I kind of wish I would have gone second this time. Give you a freer treater. Yeah. You got to be careful about bench space because three of them is going to be used with the ability Pazimian. Exactly. And we got to make sure those are all set up as best we can. Oh, we're not, you're not using any breaks, so that's good. That oh, is Oh, there good. goes the energy. Makes me, doesn't make me feel so bad about using a Lima.
Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry with no energies. It hurts a bit. Oh, thank you. Hey. The one card where I didn't put in. It helps us out. Yeah, it's Brooklyn Hill. It is necessary. And it would... Oh, there's Buzzwall. Oh, that's, this would be a test. This would be a test for it. Let's see how well it does. Yeah, because I think Buzzwall, Buzzwall and Zoroark are definitely in every single deck. Well, let's uh, well, let's get out some Pissimians, shall we? That's that's what I'm thinking. So now let's hope we have a good coin flip. Nope. Bigot tails? Of course not. Of course not. Well, if anything else, let's get the. And then does it go to bench or hand? Hand, but it get, it allows you allows you to play it next turn. And then if they play in, I want them. I kind of want them to play in, but only only on trading then, card game ooh, online Trampa. does uh, Elima not work for your in your favor. Yeah, it's a different it's a different Buzzle deck. It's not Buzzle Buzzle. No, it's running the Machamp, the ability Machamp. Oh, cause oh, you're a meanie. Oh, well, good thing I didn't. Uh, good thing I have res rescue stretcher. Oh, except now we got no draw. Um. I just hope we don't get delinquented again. Well, he would have to play another stadium. How does this Lima get it? He starts with a skull grind and gets it. Oh, there's the energy. So, so Cynthia. Do, 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 do. Let's okay. see. No energy. No energy. And nothing we can really use. Oh, just help they stack damage on it? Yeah, slow them down a little bit. We're not running any breaks, so that uh, Drudig is not a, much of a problem. Somewhat of a psychic base. Wonder what they're running, in, running with it. Trash? Which, what does the Drogue at it? Or the... It, it's like... It's a lot for if you're a so break Pokemon. So if it's a break, it does 80, and then a Firewater normal does 100, and if both are tails, it attack does nothing. Okay. Proud thing. Oh, look at that. Pacific number three. Four. So now we got the Pacimian. We'll need the Kukui, yeah. No energy. Ah. Let's just end the turn. Because we don't need to put the escape board on anything. Cynthia and hope we get, what, a DCE? I'm hoping we top take a DCE so I can just take care of that buzzle. Ah. I want to keep that Guzma in hand. So you want to just end the turn? I wanna Unless you want a Cynthia. I want that buzzle. We'll get that buzz wall. Don't worry. I, wanna, I don't want to get rid of that Guzma just yet. Uh, I was thinking, uh, yeah, let's uh, It doesn't really matter. You know what? Let's cook me. Heavy Lima. Sorry about this, folks. This is not how the deck's supposed to run. No, it's not. But it's a even lot then. faster than this. And it would have made day, day two if it weren't fa fast enough. That is true. Although, do you think Energy Lotto would fit in the deck? At this point, I would love to have it in the deck. Just to top, get those DCEs. At, at least two? Yes, we know we'll have fewer cards in hand. There is, hide it. I, I would hide it. Yeah, let's hide it, and then we can just Guzma get the attack on a Buzzwall next turn. 
and then hope we pull a DCE to get that Zekrom, because that's a uh, that's a knockout to something right there. Yes. But even then, right now, if, oh wait, no, Buzzball's a basic, so we don't get the extra thirty. That's no, still but with weakness, we're still getting the one thirty times weakness. Yeah. So that's still two forty. Two sixty. I want to hit it for maximum firepower. And then if we, hey, congrats! I want that buzzword. Bring up that buzzword. And this is why Baby Mew is in the deck. Actually, this is essentially why Baby Mew is in the deck. Um, let's team play, shall we? Two sixty. And that's a buzzword. Yeah, that is a buzz well taken care this of. This is why it's this I think this is why Pacemian did so well is because it synergizes as supplying two weaknesses for the two biggest Pokemon in the meta. Zorark and and Buzzwall. Yeah, because the Pacemian takes on the And we saw the final brackets of uh, what there four four or five of the list had uh Zorark in it. Mm-hmm. I think the only decks they had a problem with were when it was when itself was priced. Yeah, I think... So now we can't use Fling. You think that's a bad thing? Oh no, we can't use Fling. Whatever shall we do? It would, it would be a shame if somebody were to uh, start use... on being awesome. Yeah. Um... I'll save the choice band for now. Yeah, because it's going to get knocked out pretty soon. That one? That one? Uh, that's the Cynthia. Oh wait, uh, that's, that's Cynthia. Never mind. Although, maybe put on a choice band, Cynthia. No, hold on. We can at least get the knockout against a high dragon because he's always going to be doing we're, twenty. We're doing one hundred thirty, so yes. regardless what happens. So yeah, let's let's knock that out because then we use up all his energy. Do we see if we get him down to three? We could, but as long as you get the choice band on either the Basinian or the Mew. See if we can knock him down to three. Yes, Alima number two works. Tails, at least tails for them. Nope. It's po oh, it, oh. we it, it's po Town. Po Town heroes. Do you really expect them to do something good? Oh, I know. I saw that. I think that one of the deck lists that I, I saw with this was uh, with Po Town, because it, almost all your stuff is basic. Yeah, it, it would make sense. I mean, everything's a basic. The only thing that's not is the Toxic Croak. And even then, it's just there to pick up down knockouts. Exactly. Knockouts. Exactly. So it's, well, until we get rid of Zekrom or something, they're not going to get that. That's actually not a bad idea, actually, to be honest. Mew's not in trouble unless he gets both heads. So unless that's twenty plus. Oh well, still need DCE. Question is, does he have the DCE? I don't know. I would just retreat and knock it out. But yeah, either way, 3, 6, or 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 18, 18, 20. We're doing 21 to it minimum. Yep. There, DCE or counter? Counter. Uh, congrats, you knocked out a Mew. You get one prize, and then we come through with the sweep. Unless I can pull a cro talk to Crow Gunk. Hey, would you look at that? It's back. Mew doesn't go away. Mew never goes away. All right, so what is Sycamore? Ooh. And of course, for final hit. Of course. Oh my goodness. But even then, that's worse. 90? 150? Oh, the Cruel Fang reduced 20 damage. 40. The Cruel Fang reduces 40. But even then, that's still... It's still I a beast. I think with the Guzma, we can... Actually, no, we would need Kukui and Strong Energy to get the knockout off of the Reggie Rock. Yeah, we would. Play a GX. Play a GX. Oh, screw you. <laughs> okay, like, so we this go... This is why I like Red Card. I actually like Red Card. To get the Guz, the Guzma Choice Band. I can actually do a ace roll at this point. Just get rid of that Zekrom. We don't, we don't don't need it except for the 
whatever this will turn into. Mm hmm. Sure. And then that just allows him to search for two energy and put it to his hand? Yeah. Oh, the a mass? Yeah. For one. Yeah. And it attaches it to itself. I mean, Drapa's not a bad Pokemon. It's just, it, by the time it has enough energy on it to exploit its attack, it's, it's Fire Cyclone. Yeah, it's usually knocked out. It's not a bad attack, just in a bad format. Mm hmm. I. Hey, you Ultra Ball for those? I know, right? Um. Question is, do we want to? We don't have the energy, but it's a free retreater, so yeah. One thirty off of it. Well played. Well, thank you very much, sir. Smiley face. But. Pasimi is fast, but if you ever end up with this one prized, you're gonna have a field day. Mm hmm. Trying to get the Glady in in order to fish it out of the prizes or trying to set up knockouts. I think that's why I put in the Toxic Girl, because I at least have one more attacker. Yeah. Yeah, because even then, DCE does 50. If you lead with, say, a Pasimian or another fighter, it, it's I definitely mean, not bad. I mean, this is not a bad attacker when you have the other two out, but it's not a. Yeah, because that turns it into a 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Turns it into a, a 100 that doesn't affect resistance. Oh. See, I think we're getting the knockout of this. Yeah. And I keep, I'm saving the rescue treasure just to, for the, the simian. For the game that, we're, that we just won. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was the other Machamp. I thought he was running the uh, one from Generations. No, that that one's really good, though. Oh, we prize the Gladian. Hey, we... <laughs> Unless we use Gladian once upon... No, we did, we prize the Gladian. We prize the Gladian. Yeah, your game is pretty much over with team play if you have prize the Gladian and the... the... Yeah, but I, that was for Simeon, and that... I can see why it took day two at, it's fast. at, at regionals. Cause it's faster than what you saw. Even even then, with that's still faster than like a lot of the decks we've had, except for maybe Garchomp. I think it, I think it answers. If you can go second with a Bridget, you can answer turn two, or turn, even turn one. Yeah, easily. Swinging with 130 opening hand. <sighs> yeah, I can see. I can see why Persimian made day two. I can see why it's an absolute just powerhouse. Uh, especially with the Mew, the Mew backup to do even more damage, and uh, I Diancy will be a, a, a must or a, a, in, encouraged. Highly encouraged, yes. And then, uh, was there anything else coming down the pipeline? Fighting's not pretty much at its peak. There's really nothing they have coming out that is a more of a shine for it. I guess uh, it's been too good too long. Expanded definitely wait, is Karina and uh, Fighting Stadium. Expanded, you would want. Karina is a must. Is, I like Karina. Yeah, Karina would be a must. Uh, Fighting Stadium would be a must. Fighting Stadium, yes. I. Uh, if only synergy synergyed well with the uh, GXs. But EXs it picks off. But I know. If only they had that errata. I mean, you have the you have the Lysander uh, parts too. But yeah. But either way, it's it, this is still just a really good, really phenomenal deck, and it doesn't even eat, need a lot of the staples like Lele or Zoroark. It, I mean, yes, it, it, Lele helps, and so does Artillery, but you saw it, it did pretty well without it. Yeah, it it helps, but it's not necessary. But uh, either way, what other kind of changes would you guys make to the deck? Let us know down in the comments down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town hero yourself. Uh, join us on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore town underscore heroes. And then also be sure to hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. As always, may all your games go well and may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time.